on in as we have spawning up to the top left hand corner and in fact up to the north regardless that always catches me out on this map uh, <laughs> as the blue protoss he is mc and down to the south we have our red protoss representing cj enters two games up in this best of seven he is hero i'm glad i called last game uh, last game's built right by the way yeah. Uh, I really thought that Hero, there might be a good chance he might go for the three gateways and pressure himself to try and counter MC style. And in the end, he was able to get the information he wanted from that. So had he done something different, uh, he could have taken a lot of damage from those Dark Templars and we could have seen a completely different game. In the end, it worked out quite well for him. Now, again, we're on a map where both players have a ton of experience and we could see fireworks early on in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if F's MC reverts back to his style of going for double gateway pressure plus the third gateway himself. So basically use what Hero did in the previous game. And Hero, he has a choice. He can do the same thing as in the previous game or he can try to take a little bit faster. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> little prediction. Oh, it's time. You, you have to do at least one it's in time. a series. I think, I think we see three gates because it seems... From who? Jeez, uh, oh, from MC again. Uh, and then Hero does something a little bit different. I'm not sure, though. Like some tech? Okay. Yeah, maybe. But the thing is, is that oftentimes, when people ask me on Twitter, some people say, you know, like, how, how do you get so infused in StarCraft? And why do you find it so exciting? And things like that. And for a matchup like PvP, some people don't really see it too much. But for me, it's one of the most exciting matches up, matchups when it comes to the intensity, absolute intensity, yeah. of the micro and the decision making. You have all the same units. One slight slip up here and there means the difference between winning and losing. And you really do see the caliber of a player if they're able to take clean sweeps in this map matchup or just constantly take maps. It's crazy how insane these matchups can be. And we had a quite, quite different opener, by the way, uh, here by MC. He took a very late second guess. Ah, Looks yeah. Like we're going to see a second gateway. To and it's been down. spotted as well. Yeah, this might be spotted. some heavy aggression this time, uh, even heavier than usually, just because of the way he took the late second gas. He, he, that means he's going to get his second gateway uh, a little bit after his cybernetic score finishes. So if MC goes for three stalker and a mothership core here, this is going to hit very, very quickly. We'll see how refined this build is. And Hero, if I was him, I would scout every single game as well, because yeah. just from one single probe, this guy basically knows everything that's going to happen in the next five minutes, uh, which really helps in, in, in winning all those games. MC went for the scout himself. This is the, actually the, the gateway chrono boosting out something, which in this case is going to be a sentry. I think Hero huh. might be planning for either a Stargate on this map after sentry and Mothership Core, yeah. or a quick expansion. And oh, it, it's a second sentry. Whoa, so playing really defensively yeah. here. Very defensively. And uh, you know, Hero, I mean, he might have hopes of trying to expand on this map, but uh, you've got to be careful about it against yeah. a player like MC. That's, that's a treacherous thing. Tri-Stalker being made here by MC, he already has the Mothership Core. And he has a Proval on the map, which is gonna go around and try and proxy some Pylons. So actually, if Hero goes for an expansion, which, which does look like he's oh, gonna go for, wow. he's mixing it up. He's yeah. up by two games, he can try something crazy here. And uh, an expansion, I guess, to, up to some extent, it does sound kind of crazy <laughs> in this matchup, because it it's very, very hard to pull off. Especially against it, MC. Yeah, right. against MC, um, uh, I would never try to this <laughs> never ever. Well, the probe over on the left-hand side here for Mr. Minchel and throws down the pylon, and now is where things get hashtag dicey, as we have that Stargate being added on as well here for Hero. But meanwhile, MC, he's up to all tricks, Todd. Krona boosted yes. into the warp gate, three gates. This uh, Photon Overcharge is going to be exceedingly important here. Yeah, but the, the Nexus needs to finish first. Uh, <laughs> That's if, true. If MC can start doing a lot of damage to the Nexus before it finishes, even the Photon Overcharge is not going to help that much. And now, because Hero made two sentries, he saved up his ramp, he's going to get the scout with the assassination, but those units cannot really fight head-on against Stalkers, sadly for him. Yeah, he has to pull on back here for just a second. Five stalkers he now. Might just cancel, I think. Yeah, that's going to be really difficult to hold on to. And a hero behind this, he has two gateways and a stargate. You know, finished up for him himself. So, uh, boss units time. Boss units. Oh, there is a guard and shield actually. You could try to fight, but hero has to know there is going to be more warpins behind. So right now he's trying to stop the stalkers from attacking continuously. That nexus, so that he can, he can use the photon overcharge. I don't think he's going to cancel. Oh wow, he doesn't oh, wow. cancel. And uh, he actually uses it as soon as possible. I'm a little bit surprised by this. The thing is, he's going to use an oracle and try and go over the side whilst yeah. he's buying time for himself. But there's a stargate just finished up for MC as well, and the hallucinated phoenix saw that. So. 
He's going to add on Void Race. He absolutely has to for this uh, defense. It's actually, such a good choice. Yeah, but MC, he's not leaving his Mothership Core back at home for the Photon of a Charge. So he's going to have to get some Stalkers. Oh, he's he, there. Sees, he sees the Oracle. He oh, sees the Oracle. But he cannot recall plus use the Photon of a Charge. He's going to have to warp in Stalkers back at home. He wants to play no, Block for some time. He just warps them in at the pile. Oh my god. So he has no opportunity he to warp back This is home. hallucination. This oh. is not hallucination. Oh, he's going to start losing workers. MC now is in a really, really d d uh, tight he's bind. He's going to have to commit to this uh, to this attack here. And I think Hero lets the Nexus die at this point. Because yeah. he's just so far ahead on workers. He just takes up his ramp. Possibly start getting more air units. Oh in. my, look oh at this. My God. He's killed 18 workers. Oh, he's down to six. He's down to six workers. This could be the 3-0. GG. GG. <laughs>